It seems like the same horrific story. Another school, another man with a gun, innocent children slaughtered. We'd like to call it unthinkable, but after Columbine, Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook, and now a high school in Florida, it's not just thinkable, but sickeningly predictable. As David Hogg just told us, the terrible truth is, it's only a matter of time, maybe weeks, maybe just days before the next one. This generation of young people, kids who have to perform active shooter drills at school, has been mocked for its sensitivity, for needing trigger warnings. How can we blame them when they are not safe from actual triggers? It seems like the same story, but this time may be different. American children are looking right at us, at the people who are supposed to take care of them, their parents, grandparents, teachers, at their congresswomen and men and senators, and at the president of the United States and saying, do something. 17 of this past week's victims have been silenced by a 19-year-old with an AR-15. So let's give them a voice today. For Elena, do something. For Nicholas, do something. For Aaron, do something. For Alyssa, do something. For Martin, do something. For Scott, do something. For Jamie, do something. For Christopher, do something. For Luke, do something. For Kara, do something. For Gina, do something. For Joaquin, do something. For Meadow, do something. For Helena, do something. For Alex, do something. For Carmen, do something. For Peter, do something. We call the men who created our Constitution the Founding Fathers. And we use the document they created to thwart any attempt to restrict access to guns like the killing machine used in this and so many other shootings. But if those fathers of America knew their children were being massacred, I'd like to think they too would say, do something. If we don't, shame on all of us.